Hi there, I'm Scott Brown, the game developer for Journey for the Ground, and this is my 17th devlog. I've been really busy lately. I've got two new scenes that I've been working on. The first one here is called The Lost Woods, which uh, I've added a new weather system to enhance the the ambience and, and sound and, and visuals of this scene. As you can see here, there's some fog that's rising, and uh, it should flip into a thunderstorm real quick here. Yeah, that looks cool. Now, I, I did speed this up so you can see the intervals, but it should be about a few minutes apart. Um, this is one of my most stunning scenes, I think, with the hollowed out logs, the really nice color palette, and all this cool vegetation. I think it's one of the nicest looking scenes. Um, there's going to be these mushroom guys here, which are, they're actually like a sentient mushroom that you can speak to, but you have to have a certain class, so... It's an optional thing that I'm going to um, allow people to venture on and, uh, and and maybe do some side quests, that sort of stuff. Um, I'm really excited about this scene. I can't wait to uh, start building all the story into it. So that's what I'll be working on next. Now here's some of the mushroom guys that I was talking about earlier. These uh, are models for the Animus class when you can cast pets and that sort of stuff and I wanted to use them as NPCs just to save on some time so I've got a couple different varieties of colors and all that cool stuff so I'm going to be um, rigging these guys up so that they can uh, be NPCs that you can speak to now while I was also in there I decided to uh, I wanted to make a swamp monster because what's a swamp without a swamp monster and he's gonna be kind of like the harbinger of this zone the evil um, being that resides in here and he's actually as you can see here he's got this really cool looking um, built-in tree to his back so he's okay. kind of like an ancient um, evil from this forest that the the mushrooms and this guy are kind of an arrival so your, your purpose is to, to come in here and uh, deal with this guy and uh, pick up some quests if you want now I really jigged him up with some animations that were already done for the cave troll so it was a much needed um, break from having to do so many animations in the game whenever I can take that opportunity to recycle some of these animations I will now to just give you guys a scope on the size of the zone here it's a fairly large scene uh, I designed it in a way so that it was like a maze where you could get lost in certain areas I also added uh, lots of these little tiny tunnels that you would crawl through kind of like a I don't know if you're familiar or maybe my age is showing here but like Fred Penner <laughs> he used to have these little tunnels that you would uh, crawl into and uh, that was for kids I grew up watching it anyways I noticed here that I, I got some grass growing under here so I'm just gonna fix that but um, yeah I really I really like the idea here I made these things into um, uh, a tunnel that you can crawl through and uh, the top disappears so you can see where you're walking and you see kind of like a cutout version so really uh, really fun putting this this uh, scene together the next scene I was working on was the icy crypts this one I uh, it's a continuation to the northern lands that I did in my last uh, devlog and it's just kind of the the final area that I was working on and is a really fun one to work on too because it had some nice scenery effects here with the ice uh, and uh, the stag stalagmites I believe they're called I made them into like an ice version um, really makes this place look cold and creepy looking it is filled with undead and uh, there's some evil spirits that reside in here that are kind of um, been uh, persuaded by the main antagonist in the game so it's an interesting piece of story that I've added to it. Now I also added some different ways to open doors. Um, there's pick locking in the game, but I also added a, a quest found item that when you get a lucky uh, lucky random chance at one of these bad guys, they, they sometimes drop a crypt key. So it allows you to bypass if you don't have a, uh, a lock picking class in your team. Now when I was building this scene, I realized that I didn't have any offhand items. I was trying to make one and I realized that I only support offhand weapons. So I went ahead after realizing that I couldn't attach 
two weapons to my mage here. I decided to make a whole bunch of new uh, meshes. I had to also code this into the game. And uh, these aren't weapons. You won't be able to hit people with them. But they're kind of like uh, like trinkets in a way. You know, you can use them for the stats and uh, and uh, the procs and that. And that's about it. But uh, I added that. And um, now I got a whole new set of items to make for the game. So I'm excited about that. Now, as I was finishing off this zone, I did put the the last boss in here. Um, it's actually uh, three banished spirits that work together. Now, I tied quite a bit of story into the experience or the battle experience that you encounter with them. So I, I wanted people to be rewarded for kind of digging deeper into the story of these three banished witches. So that's kind of the, the way to figure out how to beat them. And I'm hoping that... Uh, I'm hoping that it's not too difficult. They are, uh, I found them quite difficult at first, but I mean, there is ways to figure it out, but it is one of those battles where if you just go in it blindly, you're probably gonna get just white. Anyways, guys, that's it for this devlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I know they're not exactly long these, these days, but I'm making a lot of content. I can't exactly put that all of that into a devlog would probably uh, I'd probably kill the story and be a little bit dry and boring to watch so I try to keep them as short as possible and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy it please make sure you come check me out over on twitch you can see a lot of everything happening over there and um, be sure to like and subscribe on this video and uh, check out some of my other social medias anyways that's it for this one I hope to see you in the next one take care